Hey, fashion besties. Did you know that Gabrielle Coco Chanel didn't like Christian Dior? Today, we're going to spill the fashion history tea. Chanel had a very turbulent upbringing where she later came to live in a convent and learned how to sew through the help of nuns. Her jersey dresses and cardigan knit suits coincided with women's right to vote in the United States in the 1920s. Her garments cemented women's freedom from restrictive styles of previous eras. The corset, the bustle, crinoline had no place in Chanel's atelier. Chanel viewed her styles as empowering, especially those that borrowed from menswear. In fact, she was actually the first designer to interest women in knitted pullover sweaters. Chanel continued to be the leading Parisian fashion designer well into the 1930s, but closed her store during World War II and ceased operations until 1954. During this time, Christian Dior was serving in the French army, but dreaming of the confections that would soon catapult him to the forefront of the fashion industry. Dior was the second of five children and lost his mother and brother at a young age. He compromised on a lot of his dreams, especially his art and design dreams for the sake of his family. When France surrendered to Germany in 1940, Dior found his way back to Paris, heavily influenced by the women around him, especially his sister Catherine. His designs of the late 1940s and 1950s were seen as a return to luxury fashions of the past. With saying that, Dior emphasized soft curves and soft shapes that could not be worn without restrictive undergarments that really women hadn't seen since before 1920. Chanel detested Dior. She's even been quoted as saying, look how ridiculous these women are wearing clothes by a man who doesn't understand women, never had one, and dreams of being one. And she didn't stop there either. At various points, Chanel was quoted as saying, Dior doesn't dress women, he upholsters them. And basically any woman sitting down in a Dior dress was an armchair. While Chanel did have a point, and there are parallels between the new look and women's transition back into the home after World War II, these remarks can really just be seen as competitive jobs. We brought up earlier that Chanel came back to the fashion world in 1954. It had been quite some time. Many saw it as a direct diss to Dior. However, Chanel didn't like Dior, and she didn't really care for his male contemporaries either. Chanel didn't want women to feel like they were wearing a disguise. She wanted them to feel timeless and feel confident and comfortable. Chanel would not win the competition with Dior. However, she would reestablish herself during the 1950s and later reclaim her spot on the throne through her Chanel suits of the early 1960s. Dior unfortunately passed away in 1957, but his legacy still endures and he is one of the most celebrated fashion designers of all time. So please comment here, should we do another video on Chanel or Dior? Let me know, and who's your favorite designer?